Hey, it's Alexander once again, and today I want to show you a small Poco for, Paco Foros, which I have created for Pass of Exile, and its primary responsibility is pressing MP and HP potions for you using memory read. So it reads your current HP from Pass of Exile client memory and uses those values to make like an informed decision whether to press HP potion or not. Yeah, that's that's it. And if you want to get it, it is totally free. You just go to that link. I will provide uh, a link in the, in the description and click on either. So you have two options. You either download it as the pack and in that case you will get an archive with your with those auras pre-configured so script and everything which is needed for that bot to function will be in that zip archive so you just start that executable and that that window will open and as you can see there are some auras already which consist which, which have bots logic in it we will get back to them a bit later so the second option you can import that link into into main program so if you're using ioras for something else you can just import that as a pack in in the program and that bot will live alongside your other scripts or like trees or whatever you are using in the program just keep in mind that you have to use the latest alpha for this so stable version won't work you have to download alpha for it mm, yeah now let's let's look at what that pack actually does now, if I will press 9, which is default activation key for the script, you will see that small window in, by default, it will be in the middle of the screen. And you can set thresholds for HP and MP. So in, by default, it will be 60% for both. And also default HP and MP potions will be set as well. So number one and number two you just can check whether it works at, at all or not as you can see mana changes when i spend it so it looks like it works keep in mind that there is a known bug in the current version if you have logged out from your character at least once those static offsets which the program currently uses will not lead the program to correct values in the memory so you just have to restart the client it will be fixed in one of the further revision, revisions. For now, let's leave the values as is and just enable MP potion consumption. So to enable MP, just click on that button and HP on that button. Now, if I will spend enough MP, as you can see, potion potion gets gets clicked and there is a cooldown between those those clicks and by those cooldowns are controlled from the tree. For now, I do not provide any options in the UI to change it in, in, in like that small UI, but you can always alt tap to the main program which runs that script and change them to whatever values you want. So under the hood, the program uses behavior tree which pulls the data from the script so those values which script reads from the memory gets stored as variables which behavior tree analyzes and like makes an informed decision on each and every tick and by default cooldown between hp potions is three seconds and between mp potions is five seconds you can change it to whatever you want and maybe in one of the future revisions i will move those values to that small ui as well uh, let's see what else we have. So you can change that FPS as well. So FPS is, in this case, it is number of times per second which script will read values from the memory. By default, it is something around 100. It is set to 100, so it should be more than enough for most use cases. So just, I would leave it as is, but you can always crank it up to something like a 1000 and that will make the scripts can memory like very very often and when you've you, you've done this configuration just click move, move that window to 
wherever you want and click on that small, small cogwheel. Yeah, and that's, that's it. So the, the script still works and it presses, presses MP when needed. Uh, yeah, that's, that's it for the current revision. That is it. And for those who are primarily interested in using the script, and the program, that's end of the video. But for those who want to know how it works under the hood, uh, feel free to stay. I will go through those auras which we have and explain how like that works. Because that approach could be used for anything else. So not only HP potions, but literally anything else you can think of in automation. So, yeah. Uh, okay, let's get back to the program and as you can see, there are only four, three auras and one behavior tree. That aura called is enabled just enables or disables the script entirely. Think of it as a button which enable, which starts or stops the program. By default, it is nine. You can change it to something else if needed. Uh, then window is active is just a very small aura which has a single trigger which checks whether the win pass of exile window is active or not and um, it is used in the script. Now let's look at the tree. I have already shown it to you before but let's look closer at what it does and at the top there is a single selector which presses either HP potion or MP potion on each and every tick. And as you can see, that tree currently ticks very, very oftenly. So like five times per, 500 times per second. And it is actually controlled by that option. So let's lower it to 100. And that means that that tree will tick 100 times per second uh, if possible. And on each and every tick, it will check a bunch of stuff. So it will check whether automatic health is enabled, so whether the user have, has enabled auto health or not. If yes, then it will also check. And yeah, as you can see, that left branch ends on auto health check because we have not enabled auto, auto HP in, in UI and right one ends on the second check, which checks whether those values which we set in UI are like valid or not for 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 H for MP potion consumption, so it checks whether our current mana percentage is lower than what we set as a minimum in in the UI, and if if yes, then the script will proceed the tree. Sorry, the tree will proceed with the next check, which is checking whether cooldown have passed since last time we have pressed MP potion. And if all those conditions, if all those three conditions are met, only then we will proceed with pressing the button which is responsible for MP potion. That is how BT behavior tree works. So there could be many more like different branches and you can add additional checks which will be pressing some skill if you are at low HP or it could like implement some different strategy for HP and MP potion consumption. For example, if your HP is higher than 60%, then you just press HP potion once in every, in every three seconds. But if it's lower than 30%, all you have to do is just throw in additional, additional branch here and set up those conditions with like lower cooldown, for example, like 500 milliseconds cooldown. And those will be independent. And yeah, something like this. So like if, if we have low HP, very low HP, then start spamming HP potion to save our life. So there are numerous strategies which you can use. I will leave it up to you to do something interesting here. Now let's get to the final part of the program, which actually is responsible for memory reads. And there is an Oracle script, which is the actual bot. So it is C-sharp script, 
which consists of multiple classes and it is easier to work with the script in, uh, in popped out window. So that will allow you to still switch between auras. So you can have something like this. You can have a uh, behavior tree here and the script here. And that script is very similar to what usual C to how usual C sharp program looks like. It has um, a starter, starting point, which gets executed whenever the script gets executed, and that starting point can do something. In that case, it instantiates the class which, which creates UI and like stores all the UI logic in it. It's something like 300 lines of code, uh, but to be honest, like most of that code is just quality of life, life things. So the, that code is, is responsible for working with UI and the actual part which does memory it's, is that small for now. Probably there will be like much more, um, much more complex, complexity added in the future because obviously this is no, not how it should look like in long term, there should be like much, there are much better approaches. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's look at how it works in general. So we have a class which gets executed and started when the script starts. And that class creates a window and shows the window. Then we start looping and finding the game client. So we try to find the client to which we can bind and start reading the memory of it. Whenever we find, found it, we start scanning its memory periodically with, with a given frame time, and frame time is calculated given that value which you have set in, 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 in UI, in script UI. And on each and every tick, we read the values from memory, then we save those values which we got from the memory to IORAS variables and variables are that thing which is right here. So it is it is set of variables assigned to behavior tree. Uh, think of it like how in Unreal Engine you have you have mm, set of variables assigned to some entity. So it, it, it is exactly the same in IORAS. You have behavior tree, which has a bunch of variables which it can analyze. And we just set those values which we read from the memory to behavior tree, and then we force it to do a tick. So we give it a chance to do something, and we repeat that until the script gets stopped. So all those changes are live. So right now, as you can see, the script is running. I can stop it at any given moment. And I can change how UI looks and I can change the code and I can change the logic of the code and just press run. And um, yeah, that's, that's, to be honest, that's mostly it. Uh, Oh yeah. Also, it saves saves configuration to to the file, but like not, nothing very interesting there. It's just JSON JSON with your values, with the values which you have previously set in the program, and um, yeah, that's it for today. Probably I will use that program as a base for some more interesting automations because like. There are a lot of different possibilities which we can do with behavior trees and with memory reads and uh, HP potions and MP potions are just a start. We'll see how it goes for some future automations. Mm, yeah, thanks for your attention and for staying for so long with me. Cheers, bye.